Hey everybody, I'm Mike here. Today I wanted to review and share some tips about this Gigabyte Ors RTX 2070 gaming box. First things first, when I looked into buying it, it wasn't available by any other retailer than Amazon or Newegg. On top of that, as you can see in the background, the price in the UK is £659, while the price in the US is $649. So what I've done was order it through the English Amazon from the American Amazon, which meant £500 for the box, £100 for taxes, and some £13 for delivery. All in all, it was like £50 cheaper than the actual British Amazon, which at the time was also out of stock and I would have had to wait two months to actually get it. Now onto the review. The box itself is, as far as I know, the smallest external GPU you can get with only 21 by 16 by 9.5 centimeters size. In the background, you can see some of the pictures I took with the box next to my hand, a Steam controller and a 2.5 inch external hard drive, as well as my 15.6 laptop and my 40 inch monitor. As for the installation itself, I had some problems. The mini display port I used with my laptop uh, didn't work because the actual box doesn't have that slot. So I swapped for an HDMI cable, which after many tries would be detected, but would not actually display. Luckily it turned out that at the back of my closet somewhere, I also had a full display port cable and that actually worked. Also worth noting is the fact that uh, the Nvidia display actually showed 30 FPS for the HDMI and 60 for the display port, so that is the one to go with. Now onto the drivers. You will need a Thunderbolt software, which you can get from the Aorus website. Noteworthy is the fact that aside for the basic software, you can actually get new drivers that allow for reduced small fan noise and bigger bandwidth for the Thunderbolt. Or in my case, wood, because I couldn't actually get anything but the default driver to work. So if anyone has any idea how to do that, I would appreciate feedback. Once that's done, you will also need NVIDIA drivers, which for some reason were stuck at the normal way of installing them through the GeForce experience. So I would advise you to actually download the driver pack from NVIDIA website and then actually install it locally. Now on top of all that, you can also get the Aorus engine and the RGB Fusion, so you can have a look at the clock speeds and play with the lights. Just remember to select the right card in the Aorus engine. And that's about it. If you don't have any additional problems than the ones I had, Everything should work fine from now on. I will leave you with a couple of benchmarks I run. Game settings are as close to ultra as I could get them without compromising the 4050 playable FPS. Well, that's it for me. I hope this guide helps you. And if you enjoyed this video in the slightest, please like and subscribe.
There you are. 